guys welcome to our texture unit with watercolor hooray we do this to add six different ingredients to watercolor to create six different visual effects um, that you can use to create more visual interest in your pieces so we're looking for different effects to cause more interest or awesomeness to our paintings and these are the ingredients that we're going to be using you're going to be using rubbing alcohol salt a crayon paper towel a doily which is a weird napkin usually used by grandmas and plastic wrap if you are an online student the all of these will be mandatory except for the doily which i understand is a little tough to find however they do sell them in a pack of 32 at dollar tree if you want to go hunting for them so here we go um of these six ingredients all of them create different visual effects two of them need a little bit longer time all of these will be pretty instant except for these two salt and plastic wrap they need a bit more time to set up than the others so we're going to save them to the end but we are going to start let's go ahead and start with this one rubbing alcohol up at the top now before we started before we get into the fun stuff you will need all your ingredients ready you're going to do about three per day um and so don't feel the pressure to get all six ingredients at your desk at the same time ready to go that's going to take a really long time to set up day one what i would focus on is really taping your border so we get that nice crisp edge and you're also going to want to worry about taping six different sections that aren't just a really boring three and three uh, try to find a fun way to split up your chart so it's just a little bit more interesting um, so I included a triangle some random squares with one cut off some rectangles have fun with it and so you're looking for six different spaces some can be small some can be big I wouldn't go any smaller than this though I don't want you know rubbing alcohol to take up half your page and then four to be over here uh, try try to space them out if you are gonna have a small one try just to have one small one and then one bigger one for your rubbing alcohol I have just a tiny bit of rubbing alcohol in here usually I have clear tiny little painting cups in my classroom um but i'm at home so i've used just a random little lid i found and that is plenty of rubbing alcohol for my purposes here um and i also have my paint ready to go and so right now i'm just mixing up the last of the color so for rubbing alcohol the color goes on first and you're probably going to want a darker color so purple blue or green rather than yellow or orange okay and so I've mixed that up and I'm going to cover the square entirely with color. And then I have to move fast to take my Q-tip with rubbing alcohol and then drip it and dot it onto my square here. So here we go. Okay, and then from here, you take the rubbing alcohol and just a couple of drips. It might take a little bit to, there we go. So you're splashing it on. No rhyme or reason. I'm trying to get some in that corner. And you can even take it and just there we go. Bloop it where you want to. So you can be controlled or splattered with this effect however you want. And then you leave it to bloom. It'll grow a little bit before it stops being crazy. There we go. So that is rubbing alcohol for towel over here. For this, you're also going to need to mix up all your color before you even begin. And you're going to have to get your paper towel ready. It works better when it's wet. And so you're going to take this. There we go. You're going to paint over, and then we're going to use a paper towel to dab. This is very good for clouds, so I'm going to use a nice light blue. Keep it simple. Keep it nice. There we go. A nice, nice blue. Maybe I'll add just a tiny bit more color to that. A nice, nice blue. And then we're going to take our paper towel, and then we just dab, dab, dab. Like we're wiping its nose. You can even dab, 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 and then drag it a bit if you're looking for that cloud effect. But yeah, if you want super quick clouds... There's nothing that a little paper towel can't do for you. Usually clouds have a little bit darker of an underside, so I might like add just a little bit there. I'm careful not to touch this drying off area. Just look at those big, puffy, beautiful clouds. Oh, makes me want to cry. Over here is a doily. So a doily, it does better if you have a background color, which is why I've went ahead and painted it green in the background. It's nice and dry, ready to go. Um, and a doily is one of those grandma napkins that you put underneath like a teacup or a coffee mug or a cup. Um, and it is a normal circle and it has these cute patterns on the outside. Now you don't need the whole entire doily. Usually they're just a little bit too big. You just need um, this part. So this lacy part on the outside and you just need a section of it. So here we go. I'm going to lay it down. And what we're going to do once we've laid it down like that is while holding it in place, you're going to dab some color into some of these holes here and it usually works a little bit better if you take it from the well rather than the puddle so i'm going to come in with some with a darker green and hopefully i'll get a cool little scale effect going on so here we go i'm going to dab and brush it on so just dabbing it on and then gently peel it back and there we have it. It's a really cool mosaic-y kind of scaly effect. 
that can come in really handy and just provides a killer background. If you salt is um, a little bit picky and so salt really needs to set for a little bit. Um, and so you put the salt on there and then you don't touch it for a couple hours. And so you do want to put the color on pretty quickly and then add salt and then leave it the freak alone. So here we go. I am mixing up. I'm going to do some reds and oranges for my, for my green. And just take some salt and we're going to sprinkle it around. Okay. And leave it. And you'll want to leave it for at least, I like to leave it overnight. I really do. I think it looks better overnight. I'm going to try to come back in about three to four hours to film a little bit more just to show you what it should look like. All right, we're going to do plastic wrap here. So plastic wrap is really good for ice, underwater. It creates these veins going through that just looks so cool. However, just like salt, which I have some extra salt pellets over here, it needs hours to dry and you cannot touch it. You just have to leave it alone. You place it, leave it alone. And so just like the others, we're going to start with color. And afterwards, I'm going to stretch my plastic wrap and then set it down and then you'll be able to see these veins or these wrinkles that go through your section I'm gonna add some green why not all right and then you stretch your plastic wrap press it down and then leave it the heck alone and so when you see plastic wrap, there should be little wrinkles, little pops of color, like really, really dark areas like that and really light areas like that. That's what you want it to be. Leave it alone. Do not tug it or mess with it from here. Go away. Leave it to dry. Do not touch it. And so I am going to leave this for a couple hours and then I'm going to come back. All right, guys, it has officially been a couple hours. I'm brushing off the salt now. A little massage, rub it off. It would be best to do this near a trash can, but you can see these little speckles, these little ice crystals, that's what we're going for. These nice little blooms, I call them, because they almost look like flowers sometimes. Um, and then I've taken off the plastic wrap, and you can see, just like I said, it creates an underwater or cracked ice effect. And so it's really fun. Both of these sort of rem remind me of that icy winter. Um, but anyway, we have one last texture to do, and that is a crayon. Crayons, that's like the easiest one. Um, so essentially, I like using the white crayon because it's a little magical. But you are going to draw a design on here. So let's see. Do, do, do. I'll do a cute little smiley face. Why not do some little sparkles around him? There we go. And then you just take your paint. Let's do orange. I haven't done enough orange today. And then you just swish it across. Light, light, light. And there is my design. All right. I'm going to wait for that crayon to dry untape it and then that'll be the last step of our texture and here is the very very finished texture chart all right guys i know this is a big assignment good luck this week hope you have a great time with it